The Deputy Minister's comments are timely, especially for the two Kavango regions, where land conflicts on communal land have escalated in recent years. Double allocations of land by traditional authorities that disadvantage the poor who have been making a living on the land for years are some of the complaints. Traditional authorities should not, as a matter of process, dish out land in an indiscriminate manner that does not strengthen social and community cohesion and be seen in some instances to be conspiring with those that have money either from within those communities or from outside those communities, be they foreign investors, be these be foreign investors. We have to be careful that we do not create conflicts unnecessarily. Swartboy also sees the need to develop some of the communal land into commercial units where people can farm meaningfully and contribute to economic growth. We begin to upgrade communal land, provide fencing, uh, provide water infrastructure so that our communal land begins to be commercialized, perhaps not all of it, but a huge part of it. He says they are considering to move from a social to an economic module of allocating land to landless Namibians, especially on government resettlement farms. The deputy minister says there is a need to scrap the 99 years leasehold period as it does not give beneficiaries a sense of ownership for them to invest on the land. He noted that resettled farmers need to be supported financially and technically for at least 15 years then give them an opportunity to purchase the land. The youthful deputy also wants to see more young Namibians with interest in farming, given the land to secure the future of the country's economic sector. Chris Kupolo, NBC News, Rundu.